Seb Aurelius here from Rebels is such a unique figure. I'm not surprised he has gone up in value so much. He's $100 now. Yeah. All the Rebels figures are have gone up a lot. They think skyrocketed. Yeah. Is that just because the show's so good? It, it is, but when it was coming out, people didn't know it was so good. I didn't even know only, what it was. <laughs> probably only kids knew it was so good. And then yeah. adults got into it. Like, I wanted to watch it, but you could only watch it on Disney, Disney XD, XD, and I didn't mm. get that channel. And then once Disney Plus came out, it was like, whoa, full Years access to after, Rebels. Yeah. I watched it like that. Like, I just burned through the episodes. I was like, wow, this is amazing. It ties in a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So then by that point, these figures were gone. Like, you couldn't get the sets anymore. Years after. So the Ghost set, I mean, that must be $500, $600 now. Sealed, yeah. And you can only get Zeb in that set. It's got that bright orange, bright light orange torso, which cracks so easy. Mm. So because of that, I take the, I don't put it on all the way like that. So when we put him back yeah. in the case, let's make sure we don't put that on all the way because we just got one in yesterday and he was in a bulk lot. Mint condition minifigure. Never been touched. Didn't look like he would ever been played with had that crack in it. We probably have, how many of those torsos do we have? A lot. Maybe five, six. Five or six torsos all have cracks in them. So. Now, do we know if Lego has corrected that yet? Has it? Has there been enough time? I know all the brown and dark red cracking of everything like that. That's but like I said, they were going to try to, you know, fix it. But I don't know what their status is on that yet. Okay. I don't know. But um, hopefully they do, because... But a lot of the figures from this time period of Rebels crack. Not, mm -hmm. not just There's his. There's Sabine with the dark red torso as yeah. well, which is very brittle, so... Mm. So I don't put the torso on all the way, and that yeah. prevents the stress from cracking it. So I noticed when you just picked him up here, Justin, you... It's, it's my together. OCD. I, I saw it like, oh, Chris forgot to put that down. No, we're going to sit him right here for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just <laughs> leave him right here. I'm going to stand him up. He's going to stare at you. He has this extra Fix tall me, torso. No. And then, was this the Ahsoka from Star Rebels, Wars? John? Um, No. The Ahsoka from Rebels, though, is like 150. This is the one from Clone Wars, the okay. second version, not the third version. She's about 60 bucks. $60. $60. And she's a very popular character, right? Ahsoka is very, very popular. Not only is she a unique-looking alien, but she's also very popular. I, you know what? People identify with her, I think. I'm into historical fiction, books, and movies. And they create a really cool character that's living inside a actual history. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So she's kind of like that in Star Wars. Is like, you know who all these other people are. You know who Anakin is. You know who Obi-Wan Kenobi is. You know who Darth Vader is. She's actually growing up like... And, with these famous people. Yeah, with all these famous people, but she wasn't in the original trilogy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that, that's kind of how I they see it. So, so spoiler alert. Her, yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. What happens to her? Batman comes and well, blows her up. Batman, really? <laughs> well, we do see her in a lot. She's in The Mandalorian. She, she's uh, kind of she oh, so she TV survives. Show. She has she's a book. Oh, right. I mean, she, yeah, they're making a TV show. I didn't know her. she died, and that's why she's not in New Hope or yeah. something. Okay. No, she no. survived Order she 66. Faked, okay. She faked her death. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 John, I'm going to let you take over on these guys. <sighs> yeah. Pretty, pretty. Um, <laughs> yeah, get ready, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> so there was the the re-release of the Bestman City. I think back in 2018. I think maybe uh, that one came with a few figures that were more expensive than others. Um, three of which are very expensive. To start with, we have Han Solo. Uh, he may look like a normal Han Solo, but the thing that makes him stand out and is more expensive is he has dual molded legs with side printing on his legs. It's like like the little yellow dashes and then on the other side it's the gun holster for a original trilogy fan that is crucial mm -hmm. like that side printing is so cool looking mm -hmm. on him like who because they never that? had it before mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah and the funny thing is, is that everything else on the figure except for the legs is common you can get it on other figures but because of the legs he's like 70 bucks mm -hmm. just because of the legs so the legs must be what 60 50 or 60 probably yeah considering the figures that much the next one is lando a re-release of the lando but it's the not exactly the same wherever the the Cloud yes. city one went over there yeah so the cape itself is honestly amazing it has like this this printing on it this pattern sparkly gold that makes the cape probably 30 bucks um but the figure's 80 by itself wow. i don't see him ever going down 
No. In price. Because of the cape. I think it's because of the cape. The cape is too cool to The cape makes the man. Um, the next one is one that actually came in two sets. The Bestman Class Eddie and then the UCS Slave 1. The uh, Boba Fett with That's the... It. I didn't realize those were exactly the same. Exactly the same, yeah. The only thing, like what they did with the Class Eddie Boba Fett, was the printed arms. They gave him printed arms. And because of that, he's pretty expensive now. He was... When the when the Slave 1 was out, that was a $200 set. So he wasn't, like, very expensive. He was maybe, like... 40 to 50 bucks for the longest time and then that's set retired he came back out in the best in cloud city and his price went up to about 60 and since that set's retired he's like close to 150 now like 150 wow. bucks like i don't see him going down in price no mm, never in fact he'll probably go up in, but yeah in price. solely because of printed arms everything mm -hmm. else is exactly the same maybe the head's different i think the head is different see. actually that might be the difference between the two the head is different okay um, oh, okay because I think in one of them, they gave him just, like, the standard clone head um, that you would get on every clone. And then this one, I think, is, like, a newer style head. But, I don't know, you can fact check from that. Somebody will. I hope somebody oh, does I, fact I know. check, John. I'm pretty sure they have different heads, but at this point, I have no clue. Um, Prey Vizsla. Or Prey Vizsla. Is it Prey Vizsla or Prey Vizsla? Pronunciation what you just one. said sounded the same both ways to me. <laughs> Prey Vizsla? Pre -pre. Pre -pre. Pre -pre. I Pre -pre. say Prey Vizsla, so it's probably Prey. Yeah, um, <laughs> Chris has learned that he's usually. How much was the set he came in when he was out? It was his uh, Starfighter, the pre Vizsla Starfighter. Yeah, so it must have been sixty, probably sixty, because it only came 50, with him, 60. a Mandalorian, uh, and then Obi Wan. But the set, he was like, what was he? He was like eighty bucks for a long time, and I think that was probably like two months ago. He was still eighty bucks. I checked his price one day because I was just checking prices of minifigures to see what happened with their. Uh, price wise and he went up to about 150 175 mm -hmm. um and then we sold him and i was like all right we got another one in let me check the price just to see and he went up to 250 dollars. so he's 250 bucks and that's all within the past couple months yeah wow uh, his price has gone from 80 almost. to 250 yeah and we're seeing that a lot. We're seeing it within the Star Wars, within Jago. With, Even the CMFs. With some of the CMFs, yeah. yeah. Considering everything's exclusive. There are so too, many new Star Wars fans. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the demand for the figures is skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. As you all know, Captain Rex is probably very, very expensive. And you're right. The Phase 1, he came in, I think... Uh, two or three sets. Including um, something very cheap, like a watch or something? No, he was maybe. He was in a gear, Lego gear, that made him pretty easy to get. For those of you who don't know Lego gear, what he means by that is on BrickLink, uh, it's something that's not a set. So it's it's like, a, like you said, a watch. Commercial, sometimes yeah. the books, the games are sometimes under gear. It's actually pretty annoying and inconsistent, I think, mm -hmm. because sometimes it's hard to find what figures came I, in. Yeah, I wish they would just put it, lump but, it all under the same category. There's, there's two <clears throat> different phase ones that they made. One has, uh, what is that, a comma? I think it's a comma. Yep. Comma, and then the other one has a range finder. Um, and surprisingly, there's a price difference <laughs> just because of that. Uh, I think it's like a ten dollar price difference or a twenty dollar <laughs> price difference. I can swear. Somebody's calling to buy him. They Sorry, guys, he sold. Rex. I thought I put this on silent. See, you're getting all those scam callers yeah. wanting to buy it from you. But the price difference, just because of the range finder and the comma, is like twenty bucks. Like for some reason, the comma is that's not a comma. I'm pretty sure that's not a comma. Again, feel free to fact check me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We've got. But, yeah, this one's 20 bucks more than the one with the rangefinder, surprisingly. Okay, it was not Rex in the gear, it was Cody. How dare you like Cody it? was... Maybe in... that's why Cody's so much cheaper. Yeah. That has okay. Um, yeah, you can Cody's the orange up. clone commander. The one that's very expensive is the Phase 2 Captain Rex, which is this guy right here. He was pretty cheap for the longest time, like maybe 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was like, man, that's expensive a for a minifigure. It was a $30 set, right? I think it was cheaper than that. 20? I think it was like 20 bucks because yeah. it was only, what, a speeder and then a smaller little, little Confederacy mm -hmm. speeder. So it only came with him, Obi-Wan, and like an assassin droid. He was very common, I would say. But I think the set just rolled past fast. No one really, I don't think, would collect them to like resell later. I think... Lego was more of a toy than a stock back then. Mm -hmm. So it just changed his price dramatically. That set's like, what, 200 plus bucks now? Mm -hmm. 250 yeah. sealed? So that's like a 1,000% increase plus. 
but especially his price went up with the new season seven Clone Wars. Again, when he comes out, when a figure comes back out in a show or a movie or something, their price will just dramatically yeah. increase because not all the time Lego creates. What's he going for you know, now? Two hundred. So somebody brought him in yesterday ish. to trade him in, and he was not min. He was good condition, not mm. min, and he didn't have his pauldron. Oh, that pauldron's like 30 40 bucks mm. so i looked oh. him up and the, the pauldron was like 50 bucks yeah oh, it was 50 and yeah well the thing is is like so with bricklink if you could buy it for 40 and only one person has it well, as soon as somebody buys it now the next price is 50 mm. so in order for us to buy the pauldron it was going to be 50 dollars mm -hmm. and it's hard to get the pauldron in good condition because they'll fray yeah. easy so the pauldron was 50 uh he wasn't in so i offered him 70 dollars in trade for a used Rex without his pauldron. I thought that was a very good oh, offer. It is good. He did not take it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Unless he has the pauldron somewhere else. So yeah. huh, maybe he thought he did. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. With his inclusion in season seven, like his price went up because they didn't make any sets for season seven. Actually, no, they technically kind of made one later, but uh, still, he was never made again since he was already pretty expensive. And the, the market was low. His price just increased. And then more people started flooding the market with bears. Mm -hmm. The price still increased because they're still getting bought up constantly. Mm. So uh, I think he's going to stagnate around like 200 maybe-ish. Unless, you know, actually he is going to appear in the Bad Batch again. So, you know, his price might even go yep. even more. Yep. I have no clue at this point. Ah, uh, yeah, Commander Wolf. He was an interesting one. He's was like 35 30 bucks for a while. He came in the public frigate set that came with one of his wolf pack as well i don't know why he's gone up other than just being cool because he's never appeared in anything after like an episode from season five in clone wars and that was in his phase two outfit so well, it was interesting to see him go up all despite clones not being have anything. gone up yes all clones have gone up and he has the coolest clone head i think in star wars mm. he's got part you know he's blinded in one eye he's got a scar going across it yeah so with Rex, you could get that head, that Rex head, on two or three different figures, mm -hmm. Rex figures, whereas that one only came on that figure. Mm. At one point in time, it was interesting. He was more expensive than his trooper, the Wolfpack trooper. But then people needed more troopers, and you only got one trooper with one. Mm. And went up. Yeah. So then the trooper went up higher than Wolf. And now they're they both just got him. So wow! Like, Trooper is now about fifty five bucks, and mm. he's one hundred and ten. So wow, he might be even more now. I have no clue. Would you guys say Star Wars by far is the theme that has more like expensive things? Three, three hundred and up figures. Um, two hundred. I don't know uh, about two and three hundred and up, but a hundred and up for sure. It, okay. it, it kind of depends on the theme, like. The collectability of the theme, how rare a theme is. How many Comic-Con exclusives they made. Yeah, <laughs> they, really, they have not made very many Comic-Con exclusive Star Wars figures. It's yeah. mostly DC, Marvel. It's mostly DC So and technically Marvel. we could, you know, argue that DC has the most $300 figures. Okay. Because yeah. of all the exclusives But as far as 100 or like that 80 to $150 range... Yes. That's Star Wars by far. It also has a lot of minifigures in general. So, yeah. The last one is Old Republic, Darth Malgus. He's always been expensive, no matter what. He's just very exclusive. His cape has always been expensive because it's one of the one single hole capes. It's a really unique cape they made to fit underneath that unique armor. Yes. Um, he's about 180 now. Everything His is price unique went up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's also another Old Republic figure that we don't have. His name, or his Bricklink entry, is literally just Jedi Knight. Mm. He has the same horn piece as Darth Maul, but it's in a medium dark flesh, medium nougat. He's $110, that one Jedi Knight. That's just a random Old Republic fig. It's very weird to think about. <laughs> Old Republic figs, honestly, a lot, comparatively, to not having any movie, but just having lore and games. Well, I don't think they made as many sets because they just referred to a video game. Mm -hmm. Yes. Although um, they should make Nihilus very much so. All right. So, and again, these aren't the most expensive minifigures ever. These are just the ones that we have. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stock. From all different themes. So yeah. we're bringing out Velma now. Velma. And she is odd because the Scooby-Doo line had their whatever seven sets mm -hmm. and then it was done. It was a one and done mm -hmm. thing. You could get everyone but Fred and Velma in two sets. At least two. Velma was in the $100 castle. And if you yes. want the complete gang, you had to get the $100 castle. She is how much now? 80 bucks? 
eighty dollars. She's almost as much as the castle was when it came out. She could be yeah. more now, but I think her price is capped for now. Surprisingly, Fred is also going up now. What confuses me about that one is that he was the only other figure that only came in the one set. It was yeah. the cheaper set. It was the thirty dollar van. Machine, yeah. But to me, if you're a Scooby Doo person and you only want one set, it's the van. Yeah. yeah. That's the one you're going That's to get. Probably but he, why that one's gone up the most. But he's. I think he's only like we have him priced for twenty or thirty. Like yeah. Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Okay. He didn't go up as much as her, even though he's just as quote unquote Collectible. rare. Mm -hmm. You have to have Fred. Also, didn't yeah. the sets just randomly discontinue or something? Like they just disappeared. Kind of like I dimensions. can't remember. I think they did. Well, cause... they. It, it's because of the licensing. I think. They can only have yeah. it on the shelf for sale for two years. Mm. And then somebody that works at the Lego store told me that when that license runs out, they have to take it off the shelf and send it somewhere to be destroyed. What? Yes. That's bad now. Yep. I could have bought those. They said it happened with SpongeBob and it happened with uh, any oh, of their licensed themes that they have a uh, when the license runs out. That's sad. That yeah. is nuts. Yeah, because I think Makeup or Playmobil bought the rights to Scooby Doo. Oh, okay. Mm. I love those sets. That's... And then Mega Bloks got the rights to SpongeBob mm -hmm. and Ninja and Turtles. Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Yeah. yeah. Here's a uh, Toy Story's Zerg. They came in one or two sets. One set. One set. Or no, it might. He might have come with the Zerg buildable fig. I don't know if they came with their counterparts. I can't remember if it did or not. Sure. All I remember is that the set he did come in was like 20 bucks. He's a, a unique figure. Two different sided colored cape, the collar, the head. Uh, long long arms. Justin, notice his arms are longer than... Oh, the are those figure. the um, basketball player arms? Uh, no. Or are those new for him? No, these are the Woody. Woody and oh, Woody okay. had those Just because he's a too. taller figure. Got it. So this is a... Uh, Three high? Two by, yeah, it's three high. Slope. Two by three? Two by three slope. Two by two by three, one by two by slope. Anyhow. Yeah. Um, and it's, I, I believe it's exclusive to Zerg. They, and oh, okay. How much yeah. is he now? He's 50. 50? He's, 50 al he's always been expensive. Like yeah. Yes. 15 to 20. And he's he's consistently gone up over the years. Yeah, and when they came happen. out with the new Toy Story sets, yeah. they didn't make another Zerg, nope. did they? We didn't have him for the longest time, too, mm -hmm. so his price difference from when we had him last to when we got him again was a big difference. Now, mm -hmm. when I see him for sale, a lot of times people will have purple, le common purple legs on him <laughs> and it's still a ask cape. a lot of money. So don't be fooled. Yeah, do your research. you got to have that slope. Do your research. And research. like you said, slope. the slope is totally unique to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Now, here's the Beast from the Disney Princess line, and... I, he's only fifty dollars. Only fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, we say that very, for mini uh, dolls. Meaninglessly. We actually, this was the most expensive mini doll from the Friends line or the Elves yeah. line that we had, and I wasn't even going to bring him here. We're doing okay. this basically to uh, use a appease Angie, uh, to appease Angie <laughs> because she's in charge of our department that sells dolls. Yeah. But it's still oh significant in the sense that a lot of the mini doll style of Lego figure does not increase that much. Actually, but yeah. he's the most expensive. He's the most expensive one that we have. Okay, there's and another one that's on a. Some of the other too. princesses. They're uh, getting ready to come out with another one, a okay. beast. Mm -hmm. So I think he's he might actually going to go down already in value. But, uh, but is it, Tiana is like fifty bucks as well. Okay, and isn't Maleficent? Maleficent's thirty five. There's a lot of like oh, okay. thirty to forty dollar elves okay. and princess figures, but they're not like. The most expensive mini Got figures it. ever those, made. Some of those elves figures are cool. With their, they mm -hmm. look like Maleficent. You know, yes. they've got the cool head pieces. Yeah, the, the, piece, the spray yeah. painted hair, the and capes, stuff. and mm. stuff like that. And those are like twenty to forty dollars mm. each. They just didn't really make the cut. For yes. This, yeah. For this and neither neither does this guy. But there Beast you go. Beast represents the mini doll. <laughs> yes. uh, I do see a classic pirate figure. Yeah. This this is the admiral. Uh, the Red Admiral. They had a Red Admiral and a Blue Admiral. And these guys were really hard to get. They only came in the big pirate ships or the big sets. And you don't find them in good condition very often. Usually they were played with. The hat gets the ink, the print, rubbed off it very mm -hmm. easily. And then the torso is very unique to them. And that gets uh, 
the print gets rubbed off or scratched so or whatever. So just the torso and the hat print are unique to him? Yes. Okay. And Not even the face? No. Oh, okay. He falls into a very similar category as those uh, Dark Forest Castle figures in that people, just in the past year, he's doubled in price. He's like $60 now because people are trying to complete their mint condition sets that they had back in the 80s and 90s. So mm -hmm. he's very hard to get in good condition. Yeah. We've got some exclusive, I think everything left now is exclusive figures that did not come in sets. We got these in, in a bulk Lego figure collection, I think. I think so, yeah. We didn't know what we were getting when we got them. They're basic mini figures, nothing special about them, they, they except basic. on the so back, funny. It says 2012, the Lego store, Alpharetta, Georgia. So oh, okay. when they opened the Lego store, they had these three packs of minifigures, blister packs. And it said Alpha Alpharetta Lego store grand opening. And they only had like, I don't know, 500 to 1,000 yeah. of them. And this is, this is all three figures from that pack. And they are $60 each. Each? Yeah. Wow. Uh, we so have, we got a classic pirate and then two city people. Yeah, and they're all different values. We have one, I think it's one of the Virginia stores upstairs. Mm -hmm. It's in its original pack, never opened, and the whole pack is $80. Mm -hmm. and I think it has to do with the age of the store and the popularity of the store. Of the store, okay. Yeah. Is that the CMF pirate or is, that, is he different? No, nope. he just completely a different. General pirate. They're all actually very common figs. Okay, it's just like, the print on the back. It's just the print on the back that makes them so expensive. Wow. Yeah, and when Chris showed them to me, I was like, why are these so expensive? He's like, oh, look at the pack. I'm just speaking, like, oh, okay. <laughs> speaking of that, these, are, these all fall into that same category. They're all just basic figures. What Lego employees do, these are corporate employees, not store employees. Mm -hmm. If you work for their corporate office, instead of getting a business card, you get these guys. And this is a Tormod... Askildson, Torbon, I'm sorry if I butchered your name there, but it's got his uh, phone number on the back and his email address. And he came up to me at a Lego convention, Brick World Chicago, one year, and I was doing something wrong with the Lego logo that he corrected me about. <laughs> and it was right in the middle of the day. I was really busy. I wasn't real pleasant to him. But he did give me a business card. His and business minifigure. I have two of these. So we got another one of these in. This is not the one he gave me. That one, I don't sell those. They're in, it's in my personal collection. But this is uh, $80. And you can look on eBay is the best place to find these, not mm -hmm. Bricklink. These really, you don't find these on Bricklink. It's not really from any yeah. set, so they never really... And they don't, Lego them. doesn't want you to sell these, of yeah. course. And, and the employees can get in big trouble if they sell them, but... Um, you, you can see them online uh, on eBay more often than not. So that's I, where these prices derive from. So I assume it's a, only at a certain level what? of corporate, right, that would mm -hmm. even get those. Yeah. And so th instead of carrying around a little flat fold thing of business yeah. cards, they have to carry around a bag of minifigures. You just hear a little like... <laughs> yeah. It's totally worth it, though. I mean, wouldn't you rather give somebody a minifigure of yourself? Than... I, I would, I would. It's harder to throw away. Uh, um, why is this one more expensive than... That's a good question. So here's here's difference? another one just like Tor Tormod here. It's Sarah Moore, and she's in the USA, and she has a Connecticut phone number, so uh, that's where Lego's corporate office is in the USA. Oh, okay. So she's the same price. She's $80, so that's consistent. But uh, this one here, this one we pulled out of an, another collection. This was just in a random Lego minifigure collection we got. I'm sorry if I mess up your name. Yun Mi and Torini. I had never seen one like this. They, Lego's been doing this for a long time. And I've never seen a black torso like this. And I had to find her on LinkedIn. That's the only place I could find her. And she's kind of higher up in the Lego organization. She's in Europe, I believe. And she is a board member of one of Lego's boards. And I, I, she may have another position in the company, but she's higher up. And given that, she's more expensive and possibly harder to get. So Makes uh, sense. that's a... She doesn't talk to the peons. So she's not giving her minifigure out to... It. Well, either that or she, you know, she might not come to the United States as mm -hmm. often. Um, whereas, you know, Tormod was in the United States at the convention and Sarah Moore is 
you know, looks like she works in the United States. So okay. I believe this one is just harder to get. Since these are not on BrickLink, how do we price these? eBay. Okay. eBay. You can go on eBay and you can find all these on eBay. Wow. How many are out there? How many different ones are out there? There's a lot. Are we doing dozens? You don't or? find them for sale very often okay. because you're not supposed to sell them. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in fact, people who have left the company, you can find more of those for sale because they can't get in trouble. Yeah. These okay. are all ones that we have acquired from buying Lego collections. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you know, I have no problem selling these. Yeah. Uh, but if they were to give me a business card, I'm not going to sell you it. You can't I've sell got, that one. I think I have about five other business cards from people. Okay, just from being at conventions, they'll yeah, go up and give you? Okay. That, or uh, New York Comic Con. We were at New York Comic Con one year, and the Lego designer who made the Darth Vader torso was there. I didn't think to get his autograph on a minifigure or uh -huh. something, but I should have. We were just so busy, you yeah. know, that I just didn't even think to do that. Here's another Lego store exclusive. This one came out somewhat recently, so these were floating around a lot. 100 Lego stores North America. When they opened their 100th Lego store, they came out with these. And these are a pretty limited run. These have actually gone up in value a little bit. They used to be $40. Now this one's $80. Wow. Well, how did you get that? We've had like three or four of these, but I think you had to go to a Lego store and buy something. Oh, okay. Any of the hundred in the North America? Yeah. Okay. They each had a certain amount they could give out. Okay. So that's including Canada. hundred stores yeah. does not seem like a lot. No, but they're only in large cities. Yeah. But Atlanta has two. So yes. I'm yeah. assuming other larger cities have. That's at least New York probably has two. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, they just closed their Birmingham store a couple years ago. Mm. 2019, I think. Maybe they're back at 99. And mm. no, I'm sure they've opened up more since then. But I think that Birmingham store is the first one they've closed. Ever. Okay. Yeah. We're on to Comic-Con exclusive figures. All right, here we go. All so right. if you... Got through this far in the video. <laughs> We're rounding out to the end here, and these are definitely the best for last. They all seem to be $300 plus. And again, you can find these on BrickLink, but I find that eBay has a little better pricing on them because really? the people who are selling them are not really Lego fans. They're scalpers. Um, and they they went to a Comic Con and they, they got know it. they're expensive and they get in line to get them and, you know, and then they just resell them and they pay for their ticket or something. Yeah. I don't blame them, especially if they're not a Lego fan. Yeah, you know? it is. But uh, they're still a scalper, I yeah. guess. So uh, this is Black Lightning. He was from San Diego Comic Con 2018, and he goes for four hundred dollars. Wow! And he's a uh, DC character, and that's sealed, right? Never even heard of this guy before. Yeah. Well, the funny thing with these, Justin, is they're easy to open. They're yeah. You don't really know if it's sealed or not. They oh, were okay. they were never sealed to begin with. They it was just, like a, a open tension. Them. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The other thing that's funny is especially when they first started making these, is Lego did not print the minifigures. Lego customizers, the common ones that are out there. I'm just going to name some for example. I don't know if they ever made them or not, but uh, Pop Monkey used to be a big one. Uh, Citizen Brick is a big one up in Chicago. So Lego would reach out to them and they say, would, print these for us? They would reach out to a, a customizer in the U.S. and do small batches because it was easier for them to do small batches that way than to print them themselves. Really? And it seems like that would be like... To, to control the output, yeah, but they really had really hard for them. Oh no, they had them sign contracts that would put them in jail. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the printing is on a lot of these Comic Con exclusive ones are raised up a little bit more because it was maybe a pad printer and not the same quality as Lego. In mm. some cases, they could be better quality. But I sold a guy the I think it was this San Diego Comic Con. Spider Girl, which is probably over a thousand dollars now. Yes, yeah, I'm so just crazy. guessing. I haven't looked her up lately, and um, I know that it it was legit because I got it from the photographer for Marvel Studios, who was at that San Diego Comic Con, and he actually got a number of them, and he got a couple of them of each one, the Black Spider Man, and then he traded them to me for store credit, so he could get medieval knight figures for his daughter. <laughs> And he ended up getting thousands of dollars in store credit, yeah. twenty five hundred dollars, I think. And he just wiped me out of all the nights. So I, I know that they were. That's called provenance. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew that they were. It was legit. 
and I had a story to go along with it. So the guy who I sold it to, he was in New York, and I actually knew him because he was a vendor at uh, New York Comic Con as well. And he got her, and I think he had a friend over one day, and they were looking at it, and they're like, yeah, this doesn't look like Lego print. And they scratched it off. <gasps> They scratched it off with his with their fingernail. And then he called me and he was all mad that I sold him a fake figure. And I said, dude, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but because I've done a lot of research on this. Yeah. When you're when you're buying and selling five hundred to a thousand dollar minifigures, you make sure it's legit. You've you've got to know mm -hmm. where it came from. And I there's some really good ones out there like the zombie store employee. Have you ever heard uh, of that? Yeah. They gave that out at a manager's convention in Dallas, Texas, I think. And we have a good customer that wanted to trade it to us recently. And people make fakes of them, you know, on mm -hmm. real Lego. So it's hard to tell if it's real or not. So I told him, I said, hey, I need provenance. I need a story to go along with this. Who got it? Where did it come from? And if it's all legit, I think it was like $2,000 to $3,000. Mm. If it's all legit and it adds up, I'll give you that much money in store credit for it. But he I couldn't think, provide. I don't think he could. Um, so we didn't get it, which I'm totally fine with. It's a you know, lot you, of money. you bring up an interesting thing, and I don't think a lot of Lego fans know this. I certainly didn't until I started doing some research on this. But Lego makes these weird one-off figures for corporate events that is meant to only stay internally. Mm -hmm. Or, like, they made one of the Gorillas singers for a one-time event. There's tons of super exclusive very rare minifigures that they do for these corporate events or corporate sponsorships mm -hmm. that they'll make a few dozen just for that one event and then never again. Mm -hmm. And so some of these figures no one's ever even heard of are out there circulating in their real Lego. Yeah. That's crazy. So like the, the zombie for that convention that was yeah. only for employees is an example of that. So these are the ones that we have actually borrowed from one of our customers mm -hmm. that does buy a lot of the Comic-Con exclusive figures. And we'll just start right out with the what I think is the coolest one here. It's uh, Sheriff Deadpool. That's... <laughs> They made two Deadpool exclusives now: Deadpool Duck and Deadpool Captain and, Sheriff Deadpool. Yes, and and here's his original box. And we could, this was a mint condition figure that we got. We could put him back into his original box, and you'd never know it was opened. The only thing with these these packages, and I know where they actually get these from, and we get them. We get the same type of packages for packaging things, but they do crease in their corners because mm -hmm. people get them at conventions yeah. and then they carry them around with them, so they crease easy. You ruin um, the value of the box. But you could probably get a new package as long as the card inside is mint. Mm -hmm. All the packages but are the same for every single this one. This one here, you can see it says Deadpool has got a word bubble. It says, hey, nerd, Psst, over here, I'm mint in box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that That's definitely so draws some heads. And actually... John, I don't know what's he going for now. Can you? Do you mind walking him off real quick, Sheriff Deadpool? That's a lot. Because our customer actually put on the back what he paid for him. Oh, you okay. See that? It's a little sticker. It's a really mm -hmm. cool sticker, and I bet he's twice that now at least. Wow, I think he's more than that. Yeah. Man. What? Holy cow! Mm -hmm. Sheriff Deadpool has actually sold on Bricklink for thirteen hundred dollars, and you can't buy him for any less than twelve fifty right now. It's, Again, he's eBay, like eBay, you might be able to get five hundred percent got up, but but then eBay, you might get a fake one too. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, our, we sold this to our customer for two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> That was uh, years ago, though. <laughs> it was. It was around the time they first came out, and that yeah. is the best time to get it. When yeah. it first comes out, I think San Diego Comic Con is at the end forever. of August. So in September is when you start to see them pop up on eBay. Snatch one. However, Lego has, uh, due to fans yeah, complaining so about it, has stopped doing super exclusive minifigs for conventions now. Once conventions start again, we'll supposedly see. they're kind of pulling back on that because there were we'll so see. many complaints about it. It's we'll see. I I don't think they should stop. I really like I like the idea of them. I mean, it's neat. It's funny you said that because here's an example of one that was for last year, the Supergirl minifigure, and it 
turned out to be a uh, since they canceled the Comic Con because of COVID, they gave her away as a special mm-hmm. release. You had to enter to win her, like in an online thing. Yeah. And I don't know what do you know what she goes for now? Six hundred ish. About six hundred. Wow. We so. do have her for sale upstairs, actually, and we and we have Sheriff Deadpool now. Yeah, as well. You we better just, up that price. I had already asked our customer to let us borrow them, and then like the next day we get in like all <laughs> yeah, these Comic Con exclusive up. figures. What are the odds? Yeah. Um, what I want to know is the Toy Fair one. This is one I don't think we have anymore. The Zebra Batman. Isn't he from one of the games? I'm pretty sure he's from the. the he's not a con exclusive. Look at that cape. No, he, he is. is. He is. He, yeah. But he's based off one of the games. He's that, the 2019 San Diego Comic Con, and he is. Awesome. Yeah. He's, they they make a lot of fakes of these. It's but. just his suit. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally just uh, I think the cape is something that he's drives his price. Oh, he does have a mouth. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's about cool. seven to eight hundred bucks now. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, he probably he didn't have the price that I can see on that one, but he, he probably paid three or four hundred. Probably underneath the cape. Yeah. This is a pretty neat one here, Barb <laughs> from Stranger Things. That was a very obscure one they made, but I understand why they made it. But you know, it adds nicely, but at the and same time, it's a lot. The package says Netflix official merchandise, which is pretty interesting. And we do have her for sale upstairs. Uh, I bet she goes up in value over the years. She's, she's already so gone unique. up in value. Two hundred yeah. on the back of her. We, um, we sold her for two hundred. She's about seven to eight hundred bucks. She's now. seven to eight hundred dollars. No. She's gone up as well. Amazing. He like, did good. So That's why you buy them when they come out, yeah. like Chris already said. Yeah. The best time to get them is when they come out. Here's the PS4 Spider-Man. That's a cool looking Spider-Man. Did, they recently made the PS4 Miles Morales as well. And I don't know how much he is specifically. And I forget how you got him. And he has the sticker on the back of that one. And he's gone up a little bit. It's about since. 900 now. This this one is? Yeah. Oh, wow. We have him for sale upstairs. Uh, we sold him for $350. He likes to keep track of his investments. Mm-hmm. Um, Makes I, sense. So the stickers he's putting on them, they're just little stickers. And he probably didn't put a sticker on these two because they're so special. John, can you even find these on BrickLink? Those? That Toy Fair? Yes. I am looking them up right Is this now. a New York Toy Fair or Tokyo Toy Fair? New York. So these were the first Marvel figures. I believe they were the first Marvel figures to come out. And Lego was showing them off at the Toy Fair and giving them. They, they were super exclusive. I think there were only 500 made. <laughs> okay. Now, for the Toy Fairs, you have to be a dealer, right? Like, it's not open to the public, right? I think you can get... Uh, you can, you can get a pass? Oh, you, you can. can. Okay. Yep. I don't know. I've Toy never Fair been. 2012. 2012, yeah. And so, like, Captain America's shield. See how basic that is? Yeah. You actually can't even buy him on Bricklink. Yeah, Neither used so. nor new. Has he sold? Last time he sold new was back in 2018. Probably the last time one was on here Three was for ago. $1,500. So he's probably, yeah. like, 2 k now. I I, was in. I would estimate these guys to be between $2,000 and $3,000 wow. each. Yeah, and he probably, I'm glad he didn't put the sticker. The sticker he puts on him is removable, and it can come off clean. However, he, he probably didn't want his wife to know how much he paid for him. <laughs> but yeah. he, has, he has at least doubled his money since he yes. got these from us. Yeah. So, The Captain America is a funny one because he has sold more in the past few years Actually, he sold back in March this year and January of this year. He sold more used than new. How much? 1,600 used, but only about 900 new. Huh. Which doesn't make any sense. So Yeah, there. you know what? You can't, There's probably another country. Well, one of the problems is, is you can't click on it and see maybe it was new, but it had a scratch. Mm, yeah. And it's hard to say. It's, it is hard to say. And it was yeah. probably another country. Whereas the knowing. used one might have been mint condition. Like, yeah. This, if this were sold on BrickLink, it would have to be listed as used, even though it hasn't been used. Mm -hmm. It's only been stored. Existed. But it's, actually, any of them should be listed as used. Just because they're not meant to be. Because they're not sealed in Did they ever come, did these two come in an original packaging? I don't know. They, when we got them, and we got, we got provenance with them. We got the story with them. The guy we got them from went to the con. Um, We got them from the guy in these. But I don't know if that's I'm how they were selling them. Pretty sure he made Or how those. they were giving them away. There's chapter What else? Forever. Is that all uh-huh. of them? 
from in there? That's it. Okay. The uh, one that I wish we had was the Deadpool duck. He was Ooh. so cool. Ooh. And we got a really good one in, too. It was someone who has been in TV shows. He's an actor, and he has a famous family. And uh, he actually is a friend of our stores, and he went to the Comic-Con, and he got them for us, and he brought them back. And you brought back that nice I wish I still dish. had it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we sold it for, like, 300 Yeah, it's probably, what, $2,000 now? No, it's only, it's less than Sheriff Deadpool, actually. Really? It's just too good. Just too good just released a video, and he said he paid 400 I think Deadpool Four. Duck is better than uh, Sheriff Deadpool. I think so, but That's just my opinion. Come on, and he's he that did, new Donald Duck head mold. He, he came before the Sheriff Deadpool, too. See, they mm. should have done a Howard the Duck. So we've we've had a lot of these Comic-Con exclusives over the years, but they're just so expensive. We can't afford to sit on them, so we just yeah. put them out for sale. Yeah. Yeah. So what is your estimate sitting on this table right now? How much money? A few thousand. Probably, like, maybe 10K-ish. I'd have to add them up. Okay. Eh, I'd say 10K. For the thumbnail. Is there a Comic-Con exclusive that you really would love to see in person that you've never had? Mm. Or any or any figure. It doesn't have to be a Comic-Con exclusive. Mr. Gold, I have seen in person. Okay. I've had him. Uh, I had him at Brick Fiesta 2013. And I just had a customer, Bird, and you're probably going to watch this. Uh, he's usually the first one to mm. comment on our videos. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Always the same thing. Oh, that's um, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he yeah, sent me a text just yesterday, I think, of me at in my booth, and I think you can see Mr. Gold in there. Oh, okay. And it was at Brick Fiesta 2013. He didn't, I guess he had, didn't realize that I was there and that he was there at the same time, and he was like, I knew it! I, I remembered you from something. I bought a bunch of minifigures from you <laughs> at Brick Fiesta 2013. Okay, how about you? Any figure you'd love to see in person that in you've never person? seen? Mr. Gold. Mr. I've Gold. never seen Mr. Gold ever. I've One seen a number moments. of moments. People will walk up to the booth and be like, hey, do you have any Mr. Gold? No. Oh, well, I do. Look. And they pull it out of a bag in their pocket. <laughs> and what I'm are like, you doing? Yeah. That's like, like $3,000. And then they tell me how they got one, just didn't even try to get them. Yeah. They just... Bought a pack and there he was. Oh man, I spent so long feeling that minifigure pack. <laughs> I believe it. Once. You you have to. The stars have to be aligned. I opened thousands of that series. Do you guys see? Now we were talking a little bit about the future of Comic Con exclusives and super hard to get minifigures. And Lego has kind of pulled back on that. Now they're making these sets instead of minifigures, or they did until COVID. They happened. do sometimes come with exclusive figures though. Uh, I thought, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought the last two, the only thing exclusive was the box and the instructions. Um, was they did the exclusive. Black Widow one. And, and there was a DC a two Wonder Two of Woman. the three figures were exclusive. Oh, okay. Uh, the Wonder Woman one, they were all... They um, must have made more, though, because the values are very okay. low. Well, I know you could get they it also, afterwards, too. Yeah. You could get it from Lego. You yeah. could buy it from Lego and Walmart. Don't think you could get the Black Widow one from Walmart. Do you guys see these super exclusive, like, Black Lightning? He never came in a set. Are we going to see more of those? I hope so. I mean, that's up to Lego. Okay. I, I think they continue to go up. So he's $400 now. He's probably going to be... Uh, I heard they, they had a movie coming out with Black Lightning. but okay. No, it's Black Adam. Black Adam, okay. Yeah. Um, but he, he'll James go up to 800 probably in the next couple years. Oh, um, okay. he's, he's not going to go down in value. And the only problem is, is fakes. You can fake that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. my my concern is is fakes, and you need provenance. You need a story to go along with how you got that figure, and it's got to be legit mm -hmm. and trackable. So and it's hard to prove fakes. It's getting harder and harder yeah. because they'll print them on real Lego pieces. Yeah. So you can't trust looking for the Lego logo. It'll be on there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's hard to like if it is like say later on. It's hard to have another one, a real one. Yeah, like let me it compare it to the real because one. Because you don't sure. always have these figures <laughs> yeah. on you. Like. I, so uh, there's the NFTs, the non-fungible transfers or technology mm -hmm. with that chain code. You can track the history, who created it, when it's changed hands. I would like to see something like that with these figures to prevent the tracking. Oh, got okay. To prevent okay. The copies and the fakes. Mm. So, because okay. with any of these guys, you can go on a, a Lego customizer's website and buy these. Yeah, and they're good. 
and they yeah. look just like them, but they're selling them as just copies. Yeah, you they're know? being very not honest, the legitimate, yeah. real thing. Yeah. yeah, like I said, you could buy these blister packs. Mm-hmm. We have them for our figures, and then you could copy that and copy the figure and sell it as legit. Yeah, so that's my concern. I don't love getting the San Diego Comic Con exclusive figures because they are so expensive and. It's hard to prove. It's, it's getting hard. harder and harder. It's getting harder and harder to prove it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. We spoke for a very long time, but we do love our mini figures here <laughs> at the Atlanta Brick Co. These are super exclusive, but oddly enough, they don't stay on the shelf that long. So if you guys want any of these, if you saw anything you'd like to ask about, please give us a call, email us, whatever, yeah. drop by. Drop by, we love seeing you. So we'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you very much. Listen to this as a audio podcast if you'd like. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I think that's it, right? Yep. Right? Leave us, leave us a comment on what you want to see from us next. This was requested. We don't want to do Lego next time. That's all I can do. <laughs> we, could, we could do... The most valuable minifigures almost on a monthly basis because it changes. It changes so much. The, our stock. Yeah. Our inventory stock changes, changes. Prices change. Yeah. Although it's still probably going to be most of these. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. did plan to do this, but this was when the, our most expensive sets mm-hmm. came out. People were asking, do minifigures, do minifigures. Well, yeah. We did it. All right. Thank it you, guys. It has been done. Next is going to be most expensive animals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs>